text and thought it was going to be an interception. But uh, I guess he missed the ball, and then I stopped, and I looked back, and then looked again, and he had the ball in his hands. And you know, I shouldn't have relaxed on that, but I should have just stayed on my man. But I just thought, I thought it was going to be a pick. What else was in the locker room, like after this game? Um, it was more just, you know, sadness for the seniors, you know, not being able to go out uh, with a win on, you know, that last time we were playing on the Rose Bowl. That was kind of it. Um, yeah, a lot of them are, some of them are in tears, some of them are just kind of quiet right now, but yes, yeah, it's, it's just it's just kind of the last game ever playing at the Rose Bowl, and that's how I had to go out, so it's, it's, it's kind of sad. It is sad. That's Stanford and Oregon thing. I mean, what is it that has to be done to get over that hump? Um, I don't know what it is, you know, I mean, they, they just, we have to play, I think what it is, we have to play a complete game, you know, I mean, we came out, got on them early, the energy was up and everything, and then from there on, it was just kind of, it was just kind of mellow from there. And I think with those types of teams, I mean, we did that with Oregon too. We just have to continue continue going. We can't be up and down like a roller coaster. We just have to stay steady and just, just keep keep it going. Was it hard to get up after the big win last week? Uh, no, not by any means. I mean, it was it was more to play for actually after the after the win. You know, I mean, just I mean, everybody knows what we were playing for. We were a chance to play the Pac-12 championship and then a chance to possibly get in the Final Four. So I mean, it was for sure more to play for. You know, it's just. Uh, Stanford, Stanford got us. I mean, they're a great team. I don't know how they lost five games because they're, they're a very good team, but yeah, they got us today. They're better today. What have you learned from playing with Eric Kendricks the last few years? Um, just just playing throughout the game. You know, um, he just he just always he's just always going like throughout the game. Like you'll never see a lull in this game. You'll never see him get tired or anything like that. I mean, he's always going. He's always vocal. He's just the same guy every day. You know. That's really what, as a young guy, you know, that's hard to, to try and do. I mean, when you're young, you're emotional. But, I mean, he's seen it all. He's seen the ups and downs of the program. And um, he just knows how to how to stay steady and just keep his composure. And that's that's a, one thing that I, I'm going to miss. You know, I'm really going to miss playing with him. I, mean, I got one more game left with him. But, yeah, I mean, that's one of the main things. And then just what he brings to the game. I mean, he's always leading, leading the team in tackles. He's a great player. Given all you all to play for, how shocking is it? Um... Not necessarily shocking, you know, just more disappointed. You know, um, we we knew we had a stake. I mean, the energy was there. The energy was there. We, we knew what, what what was to come, and we just didn't execute today. I mean, Stanford's a great team. You gotta we gotta give credit where credit is due. So they just had us. With all the expectations, did this feel like a Pac-12 title or bust kind of season? Um. I mean, for sure, definitely. I mean, that was definitely one of our goals coming into the season was to get to the Pac-12 championship and then from there on, you know, control our destiny. But, yeah, it was, I mean, that's kind of – that was really what we set out to accomplish this season was to win a Pac-12 championship and, you know, kind of try and try and change things in the Pac-12, Pac be one of the – you know, be one of the organs of Stanford's. You know, that was kind of our, our, our motto. And we, we figured this was the year, but I, I guess not, you know. But, yeah. <laughs> What do, you, uh, what do you kind of see as being the next step you need to take to become one of the Stanford Oregon Um, Next step really is to just kind of recuperate, you know, and, and win our bowl game and then come back next year. And um, we, we got to, I think we just got to step away from the expectations, you know. We got to go back to that UCLA team that was just nitty gritty, you know, that didn't, you know, that, the team that nobody really talked about but was up and coming and everything. I think we need to reinstill that mindset and just kind of worry about what we're doing, you know, not the media expectations or what other people say or ESPN or anything like that. Just kind of worry about ourselves, focus on ourselves. And I think that's what that's what really got us on our, on our winning streak after we lost to uh, Utah and Oregon. We just kind of, I mean, you guys went away and you know, it was just kind of <laughs> us, you know. We were kind of left alone and it was it was beautiful, you know. And that's when we started winning. So I guess we got to win.